रोज एक सवाल सवाल सॉल्व करने के बाद वो बेल आइकन पे क्लिक कर देना रोज सवाल का नोटिफिकेशन तुम्हें मेल बॉक्स में आ जाएगा ओके लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इट सेज दैट ए डेल्टा बी डिनोट द सेट ऑफ एलिमेंट विच बिलोंग टू ए और बी बट नॉट बोथ सो दैट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इट इट बिलोंग्स टू ए और बी बट नॉट बोथ सो इफ पी एंड क्यू आर गिवेन आर एंड एस आर गिवेन नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन पी डेल्टा क्यू delta r delta s so p delta q p delta q will be what will be what so you have to just check what are the elements that are there in p or q but not both so 2 and 3 are there in both so these will not feature here so it will become 1 5 and 6 similarly if you actually check r delta s so what do we have in common here so 1 3 7 8 9 2 4 9 10 and so only 9 is common so this becomes 1 2 3 4 7 8 and 10 now we have to perform delta operation between p delta q and r delta s so now let's see what's common one is there besides i don't think there is anything else so number of elements will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh do we have to drop anything here uh This is one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Here we have four also. Here we have four also. So four will also be dropped. So this will become. This will become five, six, one, two, three, seven, eight, ten. So four will not be there. So one, two, three, seven, eight, ten, and. So no, one is not there. So it will be two, three, seven, eight. 10 these are five elements here and two elements here so total the seven elements there i hope this is clear to you such questions are given in cat just to avoid zero or negative please don't uh, you know make mistakes in such questions these are very very simple questions so this one from set theory very very basic question from set theory so let's let's move on and see the next one okay now it says that a is 6 to the power 2n minus 35n minus 1 and b is 35 times n minus 1 right so uh, now we have to establish a relationship between a and b see b is a number which is which is always a multiple of 35 a let's have a look so here 6 to the power 2n can be written as 36 to the power n Minus one can also be written as one to the power n, right? So then we can say that a to the power n minus b to the power n is always a multiple of a minus b, right? A to the power n minus b to the power n is always divisible by a minus b. You can you know have a uh, any example. You can take a square minus b square. You can take a cube minus b cube. Any number you want to take, you can take. So what we have here is here. we have a cube minus b cube or a square minus b square whatever example you take so we can say that this number is certainly a multiple of 35 is certainly a multiple of 35 and this is also a multiple of 35 so we can say that this number is 35 times k minus n so a is a multiple of 35 b is also a multiple of 35 however there is one difference what's the difference what's the difference so the so the so actually the difference between any two terms here is very very big why because of this exponent because when you put n is equal to 1 this is 36 minus 35 minus 1 so which is 0 the first term n is equal to 1 if you put this also is 0 next term here is 35 what is the next term here the next term here you you will put n is equal to 2 this will become 6 to the power 4 Minus seventy minus one. Now see, this is a huge term. It's a big term, right? It's a big term. It's like six in six square is thirty six. Thirty six square is twelve ninety six. Twelve ninety six minus seventy is twelve twenty six plus minus one is twelve twenty five. So again, if you actually see this number, this number is thirty five square, right? This number is thirty five square. 
and this is 35 so basically all the numbers in a also are multiples of 35 but the gap between two numbers are huge what does this mean this means that every number of a will be in b but not every member of b will be in a every member of a will be in b but not every member of b will be in a so what's the answer option the answer option is answer option 2 every member of a is in b and at least one member of b is not in a right so for example you take 35 is 35 there in a the answer is no will 35 square come here later on yes so that's how this question goes i hope this is clear to you again a commonsensical based uh, algebra question really really good question very interesting uh, and solving this you know if you know the basics the basic properties that are there should not take more than 15 to 20 seconds in the exam scenario oh my